Hello everyone and welcome back to Mars Horizon and my playthrough as Japan in this game. It has been a long time since I posted a video in this series, uh, basically a year, and I really want to get through uh, this playthrough. Uh, I don't know whether it's because I like playing Mars Horizon during the winter or because I recently played Next Space Rebels and got through the career mode there and I felt a little bit guilty about leaving this one hanging and so I want to try and get through at least one playthrough of this. I think that the latter situation is the case, though maybe the seasons have an effect, I don't know, maybe it's a seasonal game. But anyway, uh, we, we got uh, quite a ways into the game already, and so let's review our progress. Uh, we have D uh, Titan and Delta rockets and Centaurs, I know it's weird because it's Japan, but this is how the game works, uh, because Japan doesn't... Uh, honestly, uh, we got some Lambda rockets for Japan, which is reasonable, and a Mu rocket, that's good too. Uh, we don't seem to have, uh, oh, we have some H2s here. Well, those are more modern than the Saturns and all. Hopefully there will be some benefit to researching those over having these very large rockets. Uh, we'll see. Uh, so yes, we have uh, some smattering of Japanese rockets in the midst of otherwise American designs. Uh, but we are at this tier, but we are aiming to land on the moon. We have already made lunar orbit, and we want to uh, get basically Apollo and Saturn V and that sort of thing. Uh, so, yep, that is one thing we're unlocking. We have uh, these buildings here, and currently as far as missions, we have researched crude moon landing. Uh, we merely have not managed to actually build Apollo, the payload. We're researching commercial satellites uh, so that we can get some money in order to fund the lunar landing mission. and. Yeah, that will be important. Uh, we have decent support, but we need more support. We have uh, lots of science coming in, so that's good. Uh, well, I mean, really, I don't know what's enough for a moon mission, so, I mean, it's tough. So, lunar orbit we have, and we were the first to complete that. I think that was just a probe. The crude moon... Uh, it is just a probe. The crude moon landing apparently is not separated from making lunar orbit with a crew or anything like that. It looks like uh, we have been beaten to the Mars orbit mission and the Mars flyby mission. We haven't even tried the Mars flyby mission. China completed that one. So as far as interplanetary missions, uh, we're sort of lacking. The Venus impactor mission also. So we're going straight for landing on the moon and we have sort of not kept up with the interplanetary missions. That is the situation. I have to remind myself of what the situation is because it's been so long. Okay, uh, I want to know what the Yume is that we are completing. Next phase, Mars orbit. So, okay, I guess that's what we're doing next. I'll just uh, proceed to the next month and see what happens. Extravehicular photography. Photographs taken by your astronaut uh, Matsumoto Hitomi, during a recent EVA, have featured on the front pages of several newspapers. Spacewalks seem to have captured the public's imagination. Wonderful. If only they did that more in real life. <laughs> um, delivering a communication satellite into a precise Earth orbit will exemplify our agency's launch expertise. This will open the door to future commercial opportunities and see us playing a key role in Earth's burgeoning communications and navigation technology. And in fact, of course, NASA was, uh, well, I guess JAXA is important in that too, but NASA was very important in that. Uh, so, uh, we have researched commercial satellite, and we should research the attendant payload. That'll, that should be quick enough, I think. Um, 4,500, really, I mean, I, I don't know, I, I, we need the rockets to build Apollo anyway, but then, yeah. We, we only get to research one thing at a time. These are pretty quick to research. Uh, yeah, I think we can knock some of these off pretty quickly. Let's just get a S4B stage and S1B. See, here's here's the catch here. And Aaronim, uh, who had also played this, mentioned this to me. Uh, you see, the payload here, Apollo, is 45 tons, right? And then on our vehicles... The S4B can take has a capacity of 45 tons to the moon because well, but that's only in real life if it was launched with the Saturn V stack. But this game can't really figure that out. Uh, so you see this S1 
uh, Saturn 1B uh, is capable of launching 120 tons, which of course uh, would satisfy the Saturn 4B's requirement, that is 120 tons. So the Saturn 1B can launch that into orbit, and then this can get 45 tons to the moon, so we don't need Saturn 5. Uh, this is the catch. Anyway, we'll research that first. And that uh, leaves us without being able to do the ComSat contract yet. But this uh, needs 4,500 research, so it'll take a while. I'll rather knock these off real quick, I think. I don't know if that's the best strategy. I haven't mapped all this out yet. Okay, yeah, we got that. NASA will be thrilled to get this kind of progress. We should be able to research two other teams. Anyway, we'll get the S, uh, Saturn 1B, and... I don't know, I should be plotting some missions. I feel like I haven't got... Uh, I forget exactly how to review which missions. So, Mars Orbit Mission, we do have... Oh, uh, it's uh, we've already done the Mars Transfer done. We're just waiting for that mission to get to Mars. So we are, we have already sent a Mars orbit mission. It's just a matter of getting there. Uh, far side of the moon is what the UMA is being used for and that is going to be complete in two months. So we've got that going. We've got one mission slot available. Maybe we should do something that Earth topography seems like a good thing. Astronaut recovery test Launching a crude payload into heat shield analysis. I mean, those could help, but they're probably very expensive. None of these pay. Either way, it'll give us science. This gives us more support than that one. But this one will be more... more uh, expensive, so... This one has an experimental fuel. Wish to use an untested propellant. That reduces launch reliability. This reduces payload reliability. I don't want to do those things when we have astronauts. But but I guess it's a test. I don't I well it says crude payload, so I guess we'll be putting crew on it. Uh publicized. That's a huge penalty for mission failure though. I mean, if we're going to go to the moon, we should do some more astronaut stuff in the meantime and not just We've got two probe things going. Okay, uh, Mercury, um, Gemini. I think Gemini would be better, but payload reliability is horrible. Okay, actually Mercury is pretty horrible too. Is there anything we can do to improve the reliability of these things? I mean, it's because we've got this experimental payload. Navigation, none of these options helps. I don't want to increase crew capacity. It could fit three. We could uh, Voskhod it and squeeze some extra people in. Costs more. That reliability just gives me the willies, so... Let's, let's not do that. Can we get rid of this plan? I don't like this plan. Okay. Let's just do Earth Topography. Okay, we've got a nice little satellite. Oh, got a nice little satellite for it. It's seventy-five percent reliability. I like that better. It's cheaper too. Okay, so we've got all our mission slots filled. We've got the Saturn One B research complete. PR office. Hmm. Anyway, let's focus on getting the mission stuff. And... Uh, since we're behind on Mars and Venus, I I'm I don't want to fall behind on the moon stuff, so let's just research Apollo. I think we're okay on money. Okay, the Mars orbit mission next phase is ready. So, we have to deal with it doing a maneuver. Oh, and the far side of the moon vehicle is complete. Do one thing at a time, game. 
Okay, well, I guess we have to do launch preparations here first. 95% launch reliability, jeez. I really, really optimized this one for that, huh? Training. We've... We've already got lo lots of launch reliability. I think we can go for... Extra science. I guess it'd be safer to wait till December. I mean, we could take a reliability hit, but we're not first anyway, so we can wait. Mars orbit. Okay, well that phase is ready, so let's continue mission. Make course maneuver. I don't know what this will entail. Execute trajectory correction. Collect four, four, and three. And three is thrust. Okay. All right, so we have five power to use. This is the bonus reward, but since I haven't played for a while, let's just focus on the requirements. Manage, uh, ranging uplink. Okay, so we get three of those for two power. We get three of these for two power. Let's go after those first. Oh, uh, if we use three power, we can get four and one of those. And one of those plus one of these gives us five of those. Hmm. Or we could use two and... I think this is a good trade. But it relies on this one working. I forget what the reliability of this is. Well, it says 90%. Um, so I think that's a good bet. Let's... Try making that trade and then and then getting more of these for now. Okay, first one. Ah, oh, it failed. That ruins everything. I want to resist. At least I have the extra power. Okay, we got that because otherwise it'd be a tragedy. Okay. We got the manual thrust adjustment. Okay, and we got that, so we got three more of those, but we're out of power. Modifier decaying. We can decay in the middle of nowhere? The rest will be reduced at the start of the next turn. Okay, well, we need more thrust then. So... Let's produce more of that, and then use that to get thrust. Okay. We have three turns remaining. Okay, barely got the solar flare analysis. Which gives us data. Why did I want data again? <laughs> I don't know if I wanted that much data. Anyway, we will use some data to do the thruster burn. Okay, so we got the requirements for those. Okay. We want some more power to get more of that thing. I mean, we could just go for this one. Maybe that's more efficient. Okay, then we'll get a lot of that. And we want more thruster. And let's try for more power. Okay, that's good. Data compression. We like our JPEGs, apparently. Okay. Calculated thruster burn, very important. I'm just trying to make sure I get this done, so... Okay, we've lost one thrust, and that's fine. Okay, last turn. Can we get to the 8-8? Eight, eight? We, we'll be... I mean, uh, we'll lose one... Oh, no, I guess we don't lose one thrust this time. So we have plenty of thrust, and that satisfies that requirement. Can we get four of those? 
in three of those. Um, we've got none of the data units left. We can get three of those, but I don't think we have enough to get four more of those. Because we don't have data units for this one. And if we use the power, I mean, we could get one more power, but that's not going to be good enough. We need two more power. Because of that failure earlier on, I think we can't do that. So we'll get what we can. Yeah, I guess we'll just stick to that. I wanted the one power for resisting, just in case. Okay. We didn't get any bonuses, but we did the job. Mid-course maneuver. So next will be capture around Mars. Okay, very good. Next month. Looks like our mid-course adjustment was right before Mars capture. And we've finished a payload. It's got 75% reliability. Not as good as the Mars one. Okay, so select vehicle. Um, that'll satisfy the requirements. Okay, select part. But how much reliability does it have? Go back, go back. It's got 64%. This del the Delta one is more expensive, but... Oh no, it's not more expensive. It just takes longer to build. I don't think I'm in a hurry. So it's more reliable. Let's just do that. Delta rocket with optional two boosters. Seems fine. And very reliable. Um, but probably expensive. Yeah, uh, let's see. Well, this one's much more expensive, the Titan. So, yeah, we'll just go with Delta. Seems reasonable to launch this kind of thing with a Delta rocket. Akuten Kuto. I don't know. Akusen Kuto. I don't know what that means without seeing the kanji for it, but, uh, okay. Fine. Eight months build time, though. But it's just uh, extra science sort of thing. So maybe we need that a little bit sooner. But let's not have bad reliability. But maybe if we use something that's unreliable, we could boost this reliability. That looks weird. But we would cut our build time. But I recall there was a bad effect if we... If we fail this one, so uh, it's a bad publicity thing. So let's just get good publicity. Okay. China completed multi crew orbit there. NASA la is launching Mars orbit in 12 months. Okay, well, we should get there. Apollo research is complete. And we can do the next phase of. Oh, and then we've got Far Side of the Moon. Okay, well, we are launching the Far Side of the Moon mission. What was that 45% there? <laughs> it's raining. Bad conditions. 88% launch reliability? Eh, let's go for it. And... Off it goes. Lots of rain and such. It's going straight up. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, it's good. It's good. It's okay. Algal Able. Okay, far side of the moon. Trans lunar injection time. Okay, it shouldn't be too hard. Four turns. Um, 
Yeah, let's get some nav and data thingies. And... Really, we need more data thingies, right? We need three of those. We need more data thingies, so... We should parlay some nav and... telemetry to it. Okay, I think that'll be alright. Oh, bad, bad reliability. Ah, uh, let's, can we resist? We want to resist. Okay. All right, that one worked. 55% probability of bad results. At least this isn't a tough burn. Ooh, that was good. Okay, we got a bonus there. Okay, uh, well, looking good so far. Hmm. To get extra, we are going to want of that and four of those. Okay, let's try this. Mm, okay, we got lucky. And control, but ah, that didn't work. Well, I'm gonna resist it. Okay. Now we can turn two of those datas into two more navs. And I want power to resist. Let's just do that. Ah, uh, that did not work. Resist. Okay, we got it. We got the bonus. We got a super duper translunar injection. Achieve lunar orbit. Okay. Alright, so we need three and four. I'll, uh. We can parlay the data units into those comms things. Let's just get uh, some of that, and then get some comms. Okay, let's do that. Ah, uh, it's horrible. Uh, yeah, let's resist. And it's horrible again. I think we can resist. Okay, this one worked. Telemetry transfer. Oh, a bonus. Additional comms. Okay, well, we've got two power. We've satisfied the comms absolute requirement. I would like more power. Um, more of that. And... Let's just stock up on power, really. We've got plenty of turns. Ah, uh, that didn't work. But I anticipated that. We're gonna resist. Okay. Now we're gonna go for bonuses. We really need the calm stuff. I think we can afford one data for this one. And I'll get more of that. Okay. And of course it didn't work. And of course I resist. We need to use these navigation points for something. Okay, got the visual data. Last turn. Well, 
Let's uh, use those points to get more data. Alright, that'll overdo the data. Use the telemetry transfer to satisfy that and get some more power to resist when it inevitably fails. Nope, nope, it did succeed. Atmospheric sampling. What atmosphere? Anyway. <laughs> well, the, the tenuous moon atmosphere. Oh, and that one worked too, even. Okay. Great success. Okay, so we, uh managed to make it. We got extra science. Soviet Union completed Mars flyby. Set research. Well, we've got the Apollo mission ready to go. We will research ComSat. Is there anything preventing us from doing a lunar landing? Let's see. Plan mission. Maybe like the cost. <laughs> Here's Apollo. That's 1,200 already. We've only got 3,799. But I guess we can build it now and work on it. Three crew, starting power six. You could put four crew, you know. That puts lights on, apparently. But anyway, um, 75% reliability. Well, what can we do? It's better than Mercury and Gemini. We have started building our moon landing mission. Hopefully that will encourage people to give us more money. What are active... Oh, Mars orbit. Oh, we can uh, continue Martian orbit phase. Did I, like, skip a month and fail to do that at the right time? I don't know. Okay, achieve Mars orbit. All right. So, well, let's get the ranging uplink. Sheesh. I mean, it's obvious. Let's get the nav data. Also seems obvious. And... Can we parlay the nav data into data data? Ah, uh, choices, choices. Let's just get straight data. I like that ratio better. That leaves us with one power, so one opportunity to resist. I don't know, uh, what is the 90% chance of success though? Okay. Ranging uplink successfully complete. And location extrapolation. We've got. And visual spectrum sampling. I've done that too. Really, if we just managed to get enough power to do those repeatedly, that'd be great. Uh, trading two for five. See, we can get... Uh, the, the, so, uh, how I'm thinking about this. We can get one for three there, one for three there. That's a good ratio. Uh, we can get two for five. That's not as good. So, but we'll need one more power. Let's just get the one for threes here. And hopefully we only have to, uh, hopefully we don't have to resist anything. Let's see. Okay, that one's good. Okay, that one's good. Right. So that's all nice. We just want the... We could nab. We could use one of each of those to finish up that one and get the bonus on that. Assuming we don't spend it for something else, I don't think that ratio is all that great. This one's borderline acceptable. So, yeah. And then let's get more power. And then on the last turn, I guess we can get the three furs for the other ones. Okay, that is good. Data compression. 
Okay, last turn. So as planned, we get the three furs, get one charge in order to resist. Visual spectrum sampling is successful. Location extrapolation is successful, and we don't have anything to worry about. Got the bonus. We might not have been the first ones to Mars orbit, but we did it in style. We were third. Not a whole lot of bonus thanks to that, but okay. Alright, we completed Mars orbit. We've got a funding review coming up. We did the far side of the moon thing too, so hopefully that will be in our favor. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like we'll get to tier 9 on the funding. So, let us proceed. Yep. All good. Funding looks like good moon mission funding to me. We'll see about the rocket. Okay, uh, let's see. Mission planning. We've got one spare spot right now. This one is still being built. Hmm, what can I do? Orbital radio, that's minor. Low risk. We could do heat shield analysis. Maybe we should test the Apollo mission, can we? I, I don't think we have a launcher that can launch it, so probably not. I would super duper like to. But yeah, it, it knows we cannot get away with that. Halo reliability is 70% because it's not the crazy mission. Uh, do we want to spend the money is the question. How much does the Saturn 1B plus S4B cost? Uh, so that's 1,840. Well, I mean, I shouldn't think of it like that. But anyway, uh, basically we're talking about Let's reserve 2,300. Yeah, it's 2,300. So... 2.3 million, really. Uh, so... That means 500,000, and then of course we're gonna get more over time, but... Uh, that does mean that this is a bit expensive. That's more expensive. I mean, if we're just going for heat shield analysis, I guess we can just use the mercury capsule. Hmm... We can build the payload now. Okay, we've got a spare Mercury. Just for kicks, apparently. Wish we could do heat shield analysis on an uncrewed mission. <laughs> uh, reduced launch reliability. Okay, Earth topography mission is complete. Well, let's prepare for launch there. Uncrewed. Training, um, I think we made it very reliable, so let's go for science. And we can go for May, it looks good. Select date. Confirm mission setup. Heat shield analysis. We need to select vehicle. Upper stage. Oh, that. 1% launch reliability. <laughs> that doesn't seem good. Apparently that upper stage can work. Um, why is the launch reliability so horrible even with the delta? Construction trait experimental fuel. This does not seem like a good mission to me. Reduce launch. I didn't realize the launch reliability would one percent. Is that right? I mean. Hold on, L let me put it together. Okay, Delta. No, no, De Delta is fine. Select part. This is the best we can. Okay, 52%. Still horrible. 55% with two boosters. Hmm. That's our most, most reliable thing, right? 85%, 75%, 65% with the Saturn 1B. 
We haven't researched the Atlas. Yeah, that's that's the most reliable one. It looks like we need to build something. We need to build a heavy launch pad, so we should think about that. Okay, so select part. I don't like this launch reliability. Uh, anything more reliable than that? Probably not. Our deltas are the most reliable thing. The S4B is not very reliable right now. Okay. Tanuki, huh? Fox. Uh, no, not Fox. Is it Fox? No, sorry, Raccoon. Okay. Well, that's harsh. That's harsh. Experimental fuel really killed things. Uh, let's not. Let's hope it doesn't kill things. Um, Alright, we'll save it and build it. So, we need to work on our base. Uh, I guess we might have to research Launchpad. Let me see. Whoop. So... Um, we need a large launch pad. And... That's all the way down here! Oh no! Let's quickly change research. I don't care. Oh, let's finish Comsat. And then we have to build the launch pad. That's something they like do first or something. It's gonna take a long time. Oh well, looks like our moon mission is delayed. Comsat research complete. Earth topography. And it's probably the case that we're gonna be later than the actual Apollo mission. Okay, bad conditions. Um, I see no downside to rescheduling. Yeah. Let's try for yet another pleasant month. Yep. Okay, we really need the vehicle assembly building. That's gonna be eight months. Got upkeep costs there. Apollo's gonna be complete. We can complete the rockets and the pad at the same time. Okay, so... Reduced science reward, but increased vehicle build time. I don't really need the vehicle rush, though. Okay. Well, um, let's try and launch it. Let's see what weather we've got this time. Good conditions. Well, that's great. Continue. And up it goes. Right. It was okay. All right. Achieve Earth orbit. Dang it! The rocket should have done that. I mean, anyway. All right. That's not too hard. Let's do that first. Ah. Uh, no. Resist. Okay, that signal return test worked. Overall realignment really, really worked. Okay. Let's get some more power. Let's do that. Uh, maybe you can swing with this one. Okay. Let's see. Whoa, that's really close to the satellite. Okay. That one's barely okay. Okay, now we've got the six 
for the communications. We just need two more of that and four more of that for the bonus. But we can get, we can overdo it and get this combo and get some power. Oh, very good. Bonus. Ah, uh, not good, but we'll resist. Last turn. Okay, a little bit more charge. We just need two more of those. Uh, so we can spend the data unit. And we can resist if necessary, so it's all good. And we don't need to resist. Alright, all good. Earth topography mission is in orbit. And we completed that, so that's okay. Crude moon landing needs a vehicle. I guess we'll pay for it and start building it. I don't know if we should do some additional research first, but all right, uh, S4B stage, booster. Oh, we haven't finished. Oh, wait, we can't uh, can't launch the vehicle, but we can build it, so that's okay. Ten month build time, two thousand three hundred. Well, we'll commit to it. Atsui. Maybe that means hot. Okay, but we really need to build the pad. How long is that? Uh, but first we have to build the VAB, which is going to take 8 months. And then we have to build the pad, which is 12 months. I really should have done that earlier. Okay, but this is the situation we are in. We could probably plan the commsat thing. Yeah, but I'll save that for next time. Uh, for now, I think this has been a long enough video, so I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.